Well, the stakes involved with quantum computing are huge. You will be able to solve problems that are unsolvable right now with classical computing, and at the same time, consuming a lot less energy than what classical computers are consuming right now. I'm sure you're fully aware of the energy requirements for the latest GPU systems, and they are daunting, to say the least. Quantum computers not only give you significantly better computing power, we are talking a million or a billion times better computing power, but also at a very small fraction of the energy consumption that classical computing uh, consumes right now. So there's a double win with quantum computing, both on the computing side as well as on the energy side. There are many problems that cannot be dealt with with classical computing right now, like weather forecasting. Certainly AI is a big one that everyone's looking at right now. And uh, and the task of getting from Gen AI to AGI, uh, could quantum computing help that bridge that gap possibly? But there are many other problems too, drug discovery, material synthesis, the list goes on. Uh, encryption is a big one that everyone's fully aware of that what quantum computing can do and, uh, and the stakes involved with it. So there are many applications, uh, many studies have been done about quantum computing. The business is expected to be hundreds of billions of dollars a decade or two from now, but we are still very much in the R&D stage. We need to perfect the technology before all those numbers become meaningful. So our view is that the next three to four years, we are still very much in R&D. Technology right. milestones are the most important things. And beyond that is where, when the business becomes exciting from a, from a financial kind of, standpoint. 